The following opinions are solely those of Botest.com and its test captain. Hi, Captain Steve for Botest.com, and today we're going to conduct a features inspection of the newest edition of the fleet of ocean-going trawlers from Fleming, the 58. Now, unlike most large boats we see in the water, the Fleming 58 is designed to go world cruising, which means that the owners and their family or guests will be living on this boat for a considerable amount of time. For some of the guests, that could be a couple of weeks, but for the couple that owns and operates the boat, it could be three to six months at a time or longer. Let's start at the Salon. Like the rest of the boat, the Salon is wrapped in teak with a matte finish. The joinery work here is impeccable and throughout the boat. There's quarter inch teak and holly with carpet over the aircraft style honeycomb composite sub decking made for rigidity and lightweight. Ultra leather is on the six foot seven inch high overhead. We like the handhold on the center line which indicates that she's intended for offshore work. The large windows are tinted medium gray and the valances above are teak with indirect LED rope lighting. A teak table on an electrically actuated high low pedestal comes standard and with the leaves out it can seat six. Furniture, light fixtures, blinds, and overhead coverings are at the discretion of the owner. In this case, an L-shaped settee was built into the port side, and a starboard sofa was built in stretching from the entertainment console aft to the wine cooler forward. Of course, all seating includes storage. An alternative layout is to have that much needed storage and cabinets under the windows to starboard and two comfortable chairs in front of them. In all cases, seated guests can see out to the horizon. In the port quarter is a walk-up wet bar with refrigerator and ice maker. An attractive cabinet above is for crystal. The sliding teak door creates 46 inch wide entryway when open. In the starboard quarter is an entertainment center with a TV on an electrically actuated lift. The galley is the traditional U-shape seen on most pilot house motor yachts of this type and the design has proven itself over the years. Because the alley is narrow, the chef has support on three sides in his seaway Plus, this design maximizes under counter space. The countertop and backsplash can be granite or Corian. The convection oven, microwave, and melee induction stovetop are all clustered together for convenience and at a working height. And the galley window opens for fresh air. There's a dishwasher adjacent to the double sink with a disposal. The stand-up side-by-side 20.5 cubic foot refrigerator freezer is to starboard. Above the refrigerator is a two-temperature wine cooler. Storage is seemingly everywhere with the pull-out pantry forward of the refrigerator and a Lazy Susan style cabinet with racks utilizing the space in a corner. And of course there are ample drawers and cabinets. Up a few steps from the galley and behind this beautifully curved bulkhead on the bridge deck, just behind the helm, is a door to the day head. Inside we find a sink under a marble countertop and an electric head. Back down the steps to the salon and out the double sliding doors to the cockpit, we find a very large outdoor deck that can be used for multiple purposes. Its sole is standard 5 8 inch thick teak which provides secure footing in all weather as well as signaling the level of quality on the boat. 28 inches above the deck on the gunnel is normally a standard teak cap rail but on our test boat the cap rails were Fleming's optional proprietary fiberglass, no maintenance, faux teak. It so closely resembles the real thing that 80% of their buyers specify it. In the port and starboard stern quarters are raised platforms to aid boarding from a pier. The overhead is seven feet high and comes out near enough to the transom to enable a cockpit to be enclosed for three season boating. Our test boat had a wet bar to starboard with an ice maker. The dining table and chairs can be folded up and stored in the lazarette below, creating a clear and open deck. The swim platform extends four feet three inches from the transom. There are bibs in the transom to take on fresh water and for a wash down hose or shower. On the center line, a section of deck folds back to expose a custom-made 47-inch swim ladder with wide treads. Now, let's move on to the flying bridge. The flying bridge is accessed from the cockpit by molded in steps with teak treads or from the pilot house and up a few steps through a forward sliding hatch. This deck will seat 11 beginning to starboard with a large U-shaped dinette on a high-low pedestal that can easily seat six. To port is a comfortable settee. No cruising yacht would be complete without a grill. And like all fabrics on the Fleming 58, the selection is up to the owners and virtually anything can be specified. Now let's continue with the accommodations deck. Descending the teak and carpeted companionway stairs, we have banisters outboard and a stainless steel vertical handhold inboard. In the foyer and passageway, we see arched door frames and all doors have rubber gaskets to eliminate vibration while underway. There's wainscoting on the bulkheads with teak below with chair rails and doe ultra leather above. 
The three-stateroom Fleming 58 comes in a number of different layouts, and what we're seeing here is only one of them. The master stateroom is full beam with the berth placed low and on the center line to minimize motion. The overhead is 6 feet 6 inches. The bed measures 67 inches wide by 76 inches head to foot, which places it about halfway between a queen and a king. There are large side tables on each side of the bed, both with handy electrical and USB outlets. Controls for the lights and electrically actuated blinds are on each side of the bed. To starboard is a remote that operates cameras placed throughout the boat, allowing the owners to keep an eye on things without getting out of bed. To starboard is a built-in desk slash vanity, more drawers and five cabinets with shelving. Under the desk is a swing-out stool. And by their very nature, cruising owners are readers, so the 58 has been fitted with numerous bookcases, the two largest of which are here in the master with clever fiddle arrangements. All of the joinery work and bulkheads are teak with a matte finish. The deck is quarter-inch teak and holly over a composite subfloor, not plywood. Carpeting over the sole and ultra-leather bulkhead coverings are at the owner's discretion. On the port side is a sofa in front of more storage and shelves can be added. Under the sofa are bins for even more storage. Looking forward in the master, to the right is the door to the large walk-in closet. In addition to the ample storage solutions, it's completely lined with teak and some owners have added a shoe rack. There's even an opening port light for ventilation. To the left is another solid teak door, this time to the master head. It includes a mirror over the sink that raises up for use and then lowers to let in light. A heated towel rack is behind the head. The separate shower stall has a glass door and marble flooring with a diffused drain. The adjustable shower head is huge and, thanks to Fleming's powerful fresh water pumps, provides home-like water pressure. In the bow of the boat is a second large stateroom that has 79 and a half inches of headroom. It's been fitted out by this owner with twin beds that lay up against the hull sides in the traditional manner, and this gives the stateroom versatility to accommodate kids and guests who are not couples. The bunks measure 34 and a half inches wide by 90 inches long. Under each bed are two large deep pull-out drawers. On the forward bulkhead is the TV, shelving, and four smaller bookshelves that can also be used as cubbies. If storage is an issue in this cabin, Fleming would be glad to build in shelving or cabinets above this ledge under and forward of the port lights. And all of the port lights in the Fleming 58 come with full stainless steel deadlights that literally batten down the hatches in snotty conditions, as required for CEA ocean certification. Above is an attractive soffit that makes the headroom even higher and contains a large hatch for light, fresh air, and emergency egress. A push of a button activates either the sunshade or a bug screen, and the starboard hanging locker is a seven-step ladder for use in an emergency. The cabin is fully lined with teak except for the overhead. The forward bulkhead is watertight. And to highlight the customization, some owners with grandchildren had fitted this stateroom out with bunks on each side, and because of the bow flare, this works out extremely well. Others have requested an island berth. This version has larger hanging lockers and much more storage built in along the sides, and plenty of storage under the bed. To port is the third stateroom, which in this case has a lower bed and an upper pullman that slides out to form a berth. Under is storage and drawers and a cabinet. The space can also be built out for other purposes, such as an office, a laundry room, or just added storage space. Of course, there's much more to this vessel's story, so be sure to see our video on her performance and operating aspects. But for now, that's our full inspection of the features and accommodations of the Fleming 58. For BoatTest.com, I'm Captain Steve. We'll see you on the water.